Welcome. Please insert keycard. Processing. Access to Site81's database has been granted. Secure. Contain. Protect. Predation and Containment 4975 What makes the Kuka tick from the desk of Dr. Malatavari abstract in an audit of our predatory SCPs? It has come to my attention that many of our containment methods are not as effective as they can be, and leave a risk of unnecessary waste of human life and resources. As of late, the Foundation has spent upwards of 200,000 US dollars on disinformation over multiple civilian deaths and lost approximately six personnel a year and preventable accidents related to these outdated procedures. This report compiles information regarding 4,975 predation methods by analyzing its anatomical adaptations and similarities to common, non anomalous predators. Secondly, it recommends new containment procedures and provides a rationale based on this analysis. The anatomy of 4,975 suggests that it is a persistence hunter, similar to early hominids, but it contains differences that lead to the suggestion that it hunts for much longer periods of time and scavenges for food when the opportunity arises. Using this information, it has been determined that SCP-4975 can be contained in a more efficient manner by providing cadavers to feed on and modifying its containment to prevent its reality-bending hunting methods. New procedures in the event of a containment breach have also been proposed, to reduce the likelihood of casualties due to previously faulty safety measures. It is hoped that this report leads to a change in policy and inform personnel working with SCP-4975 of methods to protect themselves during their work. Methods information regarding the anatomy of SCP-4975 was obtained by tranquilizing the entity and examining the structure of the body as well as taking x-rays of the spine and legs. Obtaining the information regarding updated containment procedures were obtained through a series of tests with 4975. In an effort to find a suitable feeding material, carcasses of pig, sheep, cattle and human cadavers were provided. Following the cadaver test, live instances of pig, sheep, and cattle were provided over time. Each test was repeated three times, with results recorded and compared to previously collected data. Afterward, to find a method of halting the entity's projecting abilities, I modeled the results of using SCP-148 sheets placed into the walls, to stop the tau e kinetic attacks that 4975 uses. Afterward, I performed real-world testing and found that it succeeded in preventing instances from manifesting. Further changes to the containment procedures were created using earlier anatomical and behavioral analysis. Analysis of hunting hunting style SCP-4975 demonstrates similarities to early hominids and modern-day persistence hunters in its hunting style. Its hunting methods can be analyzed in three parts, SCP-4975's anatomy, hunting techniques, and favored prey. The entity's anatomy is structurally similar to early hominids, most obviously through manners of thermoregulation and skeletal structure. Its bipedal movements are the most obvious examples of the skeletal structure, as its experience changes throughout its body to support upright movement. The feet appear to be a transitional stage of evolution, retaining the structure expected in avian species, but they have smaller phalanges. This increases energy efficiency during distance walking, as evidenced through evolution in humans. The knees and hip bones have an increased surface area and are moved directly underneath the body to support body weight in a more direct manner. In addition, 4975 regulates its temperature internally, warming itself through expending energy or movement. However, it decreases temperature through perspiration, allowing cooling to take place during hunting activities rather than forcing the organism to slow or halt in an attempt to cool itself. The lack of feathers and fur assists in this thermoregulation as it allows the sweat to evaporate quickly, while preventing excess heat from becoming trapped. Seemingly contradictory to the bipedal structure, 4975's muscular and spinal structure lacks the support necessary to prevent long-term wear and damage. The spine is elongated to support a thin, 
long neck but lacks the connective tissue to keep the body and head from moving during vigorous movement. Such weaknesses are mirrored in SCP-4975's hunting style, as it prefers slower hunts over an extended period of time. This slower pace allows it to take full advantage of the energy-efficient structures found throughout its legs while avoiding the damage caused by confrontation or exertion. SCP-4975's primary hunting technique is to exploit the exhaustion experienced by its prey. Through the cracking noise, which I currently believe to be an intimidation mechanism, they produce non-anomalous anxiety, which often progresses to insomnia. Over the course of several months, decreases in rest results in paranoia, social isolation and physical weakness. 4975 uses these symptoms to its advantage as it is able to easily overcome an isolated and weakened organism, with minimum risk to itself. In cases of extreme stress, or extended periods without food, 4975 has been recorded instead to attack prey earlier. The same techniques are witnessed in its anomalous hunting method witnessed in earlier containment breaches, where the entity was able to attack and feed upon a civilian despite never having left containment. I suspect that these attacks are performed via telekinetic means, however, I cannot make the observations necessary without inducing another attack. The characteristics, however, are all in line with a telekinetic attack. In both, materials can be transported physical force is used at a distance, and they required the projector to focus on the attack for it to be successful. Finally, the structure of the beak and head is similar to that of the vulture, with a sharpened beak for improved daring of flesh and a lack of feathers to ensure cleanliness when consuming prey. These changes suggest that 4975 may act as a scavenger when the opportunity arises. Favorite prey unsurprisingly, 4,975 focuses efforts upon already weakened or isolated prey. This behavior is not unusual in predatory creatures and is performed to reduce the struggle experienced during hunting. Prey has been selected largely based on age, a significant number of suspected victims of 4,975 throughout history are above the age of 50, and a similarly large proportion of victims were ill or wounded. Younger individuals 4,975 has targeted are skewed towards juveniles, especially those left unattended. However, in cases preceded by a drought of hunting, there has been a single case of a group being hunted as well as several instances of healthy individuals being targeted. After testing, it has been found that 4,975 will readily consume cadavers in place of live prey, however, this appears to be limited to humans, as it has avoided common cadaver substitutes including pork, sheep or cattle. Further testing was performed with live prey, and it has been found that, despite the aversion to carcasses provided, 4,975 will attack and consume live sheep and pig. I suspect that cattle are ignored due to their larger size. Such methods are common throughout other predator species most notably pack predators such as wolves and lions. This shared characteristic is likely unrelated to the pack-style hunting seen in such predators, however, I suggest continued monitoring to ensure there are no other 4,975 instances. Similar patterns can be seen as they target weaker members of herd animals, with a preference for isolated individuals due to their relative ease of capture. The aversion to larger, or more dangerous prey, is also present in modern hunters as they avoid mothers or leaders of the herd. Suggested Containment Procedures Updated Language SCP-4975 is to be contained in a standard steel containment cell with telekill sheets placed in the room, and rotated weekly. Human contact with SCP-4975 is prohibited. A single sheep is to be provided monthly at a randomly selected date and time. In case of a containment breach, any Foundation personnel persistently hearing a rhythmic cracking noise are to isolate themselves from other people and patiently wait until SCP-4975 is put back in its containment chamber, or the cracking stops. Seek armed personnel to travel with, and avoid isolation. Rationale due to the weaknesses examined in 4975's anatomy 
as well as the preferred prey, I believe the most significant change that should be created is the reversal of policy during containment breaches. SCP-4975 is more likely to take aggressive action against individuals if they are unaccompanied. I suspect that between 10 and 30 individuals have been terminated by the entity since its capture due to the faulty procedures. Secondly, 4975 has demonstrated an ability, and willingness to hunt innocent individuals through the secondary, anomalous hunting methods. As such, I suggest providing designated prey for SCP-4975 that fulfills its generally favored traits as well as being within close proximity to limit its hunting range to desirable targets. This prey is offered at a random interval to protect the lives of personnel, as 4975 will be unable to anticipate feeding times or make any attempts to breach containment. Finally, testing with SCP-148 has proved effective in halting 4975's long-range telekinetic feeding. Models project that critical levels of energy are reached after a month of use, providing ample time to exchange the 148 mass in the event that an event prevents regularly scheduled exchanges. I do not believe there is a serious risk of overcharge due to the relatively isolated forces 4975 exerts, resulting in a very slow charge. By implementing these changes, we can expect a significant reduction in casualties and costs caused by SCP-4975. Unexpected civilian deaths will be entirely prevented, as will the cost of disinformation regarding the deaths, and Foundation employees will become more difficult targets, dissuading attacks and reducing the replacement rate required for individuals assigned to work with 4975.